All right, this video is about how I turned this into a burning ring of fire. It just burns and the flames go higher. If you're at all into sustainability or self-reliance, you probably have heard of a rocket stove before. You may have seen a few videos about them. Uh, most of them that you see on YouTube are either made out of steel pipe, tin cans or bricks or silicone, but none of those materials will hold up to the actual temperatures. And if you build them this way, these simple ones, they will actually never reach the temperatures that a rocket stove can reach and they will not burn as efficient. So I came up with this. This is the, the quickest and easiest to build design that I could come up with. And also because the boards of vermiculite, the cheapest ones that I could find, were one foot by one foot. So 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. So that's what I was basing most of my dimensions off. How can I cut this with as little waste as possible? So it's six inches tall. So all these are just a board cut in half. And then you need a bottom that is, uh, the board is one inch thick. So you need the bottom and this top to be eight inches but I need a four inch piece right here for the chimney or for the riser tube. So let's go a little bit into the working. What will happen is that this fire in this insulated firebox will get so hot that you will not actually see any fire anymore once it's really running. How this air is coming in is because this is a narrow slot and that creates a venturi, which means it's like if you create a smaller passage then the velocity of the gases uh, increases and that decreases the pressure because this whole volume of gases needs to go through this tiny hole so you get a low pressure here so it will automatically suck in air through these pipes and because the fire is happening on top of these pipes this air will also be preheated you don't want to cool any of this down uh, once you have those hot gases if you throw in cold air you're probably not going to get as efficient a burn as you could have with preheated air when i was doing my research there were two really important people that led me to my design that I come up with. One is Los Harab. He's been building these things for years for his workshop. He has an awesome channel about making knives and stuff, but he also needed a heater in his workshop for the winter. And I learned a ton from all his experiments. Every year he revised his design and he started off with steel and even stainless steel and it just got burned out because the, the temperatures get so hot. Then he tried a cast riser, uh, eventually that cracked or something. And then uh, I think his latest version is built out of vermiculite board. Another really important person is Peter van der Berg. He maintains this whole website, batchrocket.eu, and he has everything about what is a fire, what is a rocket stove, how does it work, what are the specifications, the dimensions, etc., etc. So anything you want to, if you want to build a really big one that is super efficient, may involve some casting, then you have a really good resource here in batchrocket.eu. It also has this sheet with all the dimensions. Most of it is based off the diameter of your riser tube. Well, I actually went the other way around because I wanted it to be roughly two foot tall. So I need a riser tube that is roughly four inches in diameter or 100 millimeters. And so from that, I could figure out what the rest needs to be. Um, my firebox needs to be roughly 12 inches deep and six inches wide. And I went with six inches tall because I was not going to make that V bottom that they have in those cast risers or those batch boxes. So I put the thing together and before I actually finished it, I wanted to do a test burn, so that's why it's all black and, and ashy on the inside. However, it seems like that was the wrong thing to do. Some of the vermiculite board got a little bit more brittle. So what I would do next time <laughs> is don't burn it until it's done. So cut your pieces, drill your holes, and only put it together once. What I noticed was this vermiculite board is so soft it's softer than mdf so if you put a screw in and you 
just take it out and put it in put take it out put it in there's no hold left at all this this stuff is like cardboard it it just turns to paper so after i first put it together and i did my test burn i added a few more pieces the detail pieces i put in those two 45 degree corners there in the back to guide the flames towards the chimney and i put in these cutoffs in the chimney to make it a little bit more round so that the flames will mix better so let's see how it burns so i just started it up a minute ago maybe two and it's already going let's see if we can get those flames yeah beautiful vortexes and my hands are burning <laughs> so hot already after two minutes I can't imagine what it would do if I had those secondary air pipes in there get some extra oxygen to just ignite all those fumes or those it's just a beautiful sight so we've seen that it works this is just a proof of concept future enhancements I should extend the chimney to its proper size it needs to be twice as tall I need to provide secondary air to the port there in the back another thing that I want to fix since I learned that this vermiculite board is so brittle and so soft I'm going to put uh, some angle iron around all the corners. I'm going to get some one inch angle iron and just run it all the way from the front to back on all the edges and then I'm going to put some pieces right here and I'll connect them so I'll, I'll, I'll run them all the way back on all the sides. I'll put some pieces here and I'll screw them together and then I also have um, a surface to, to make a door because now this is all open so actually the incoming air cools down the fire and if I want this to burn really efficient with the secondary air I need to close off the front and then have dedicated slots for the primary air and the secondary air if you've already built a rocket stove or you want to build one Leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to do this if you like this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.